First, remove the skylight from the crate and place on a flat surface. Install gasket into base frame using care not to stretch it. In areas where a weldment interferes with the gasket groove, trim the arrow section from the gasket so setting surfaces are even and you're able to extend the gasket to butt up against the other gasket it intersects with. Gasket all closure caps using the same method. If the roof curb is covered or temped in, remove to inspect for proper dimension and fit. Locate the hardware box and remove the document package. Find the approval drawings and on page 2 look for the outside curb dimensions that the skylight was fabricated to fit. Confirm the roof curb dimensions will accept the skylight frame by measuring the actual outside curb dimension against the drawing. Turn the skylight frame upside down to access the underside of the frame. Locate the thermal brake section of the sill and apply a bead of the Velcom urethane sealant supplied in the hardware kit continuously around the entire frame. Okay. All right. Once complete, apply a section of the sill apron and press it firmly into the sealant. Apply a bead of the same sealant approximately one and one half inches from one end and apply another apron section. Repeat until complete and all lap joints have been sealed. It's just great. Apply a bead of sealant to the top of the roof curb that is compatible with the material approximately one and one half inches from the outer edge of the outside curb dimension that it has been flashed with. This is supplied by the installer as different materials may require specific sealants so as not to avoid any warranties. Turn the skylight frame and apron assembly right side up and set squarely on the roof curb. Locate the pre-drilled holes in the interior of the skylight frame and pilot drill the roof curb to accept the proper fastener. Prior to applying the fastener, apply a shot of sealant that was used on the roof curb. Repeat until complete. Apply two one quarter inch glazing bumpers in each bay at quarter points around the entire perimeter of the frame. Open the glass crates. Confirm the laminated surface of the glass assembly by looking at the edges and finding the double thickness detail. The tempered side is one solid thickness. Lift the glass assembly and place it in the skylight frame with the laminated surface on the interior of the skylight. The use of a good quality suction cup will help to handle and place the assembly in the skylight frame. Using the foam backer rod and a thin blade such as a putty knife or a 5-in-1 tool, insert the backer rod into an approximate depth of 1 quarter inch between the bottom edge of the glass and the glazing support sill of the frame. Cut or break the rod when a glazing bumper interferes with a run. Apply a 2 inch wide tape to the glass surface approximately 1 quarter inch up from the bottom edge and then to the top of the surface of the glazing support sill. Apply a bead of Dow 795 silicon sealant 
which was supplied in the hardware kit, to the area where the backer rod was installed, making sure to cover this area well. Use one of the extra quarter inch bumpers that were sent in the hardware kit to squeegee the silicon sealant smooth, forcing excess sealant onto the tape surface. Remove the tape and discard. You are now ready to apply the hip caps by first applying a bead of the Vulcum sealant to the mitered edge of the cap. This will be repeated for the application of each additional cap as applied. Apply cap to the frame assembly and bring the bottom end up to touch the outside edge of the glazing support sill and visually line it up to the center of the peak. To help make sure the pre-drilled holes line up with the screw groove of the base frame, use two number two Phillips screwdrivers inserted in a top and bottom hole. When the tip of the screwdriver is in the groove, you will not be able to spin it. Apply the number 14 stainless steel screws with sealed washer installed into each pre-drilled hole in the cap. Secure until the sealed washer compresses. Repeat until completed. Insert hip cap closures by lightly hitting them with the non-marring mallet. Apply a generous bead of Vulcum sealant to the underside of the peak cap and place it evenly and firmly to the peak of the skylight. Apply a 2 inch by 2 inch bead of the Tremsil clear silicon supplied in the hardware kit to the top intersecting corners of the hip caps just under the lip of the cap edge. Repeat until completed. The assembly and installation is now complete.